and see all the items that this vendor has for sale, as well as their cost. There we go. This window also shows you how many vouchers you have to spend. As you earn more vouchers, you can come back and redeem them for items to upgrade your battle frames with. Redeem those vouchers for that secondary weapon. Hmm, now which secondary weapon do I want? Do I want an assault rifle or a grenade launcher? I guess I am an assault guy. Oh, I don't know, I have the machine gun. I have the machine gun, so I'll get a grenade launcher. It seems like the obvious opposite. Good job, boss. But in order to use it, you will have to find the battle frame garage and upgrade your battle frame with it. Marking a garage close by. Okay. Easy enough. This is the battle frame garage. From here, you can upgrade your frame to use more powerful gear. You can also tune your battle frames to get the most out of the gear you're currently wearing. To equip the most advanced gear, you will need to upgrade both your battle frames power, mass, and CPU, as well as its gear capabilities. Luckily, the accord allows power, us to mass, battle frame experience and, CPU. and resources okay. for these upgrades. Oh, they're on the left here. upgrades will cost both more experience and more resources. All right, let's upgrade your battle frame to accept your new secondary weapon. I mean, this looks like a pretty impressive upgrade system. I mean, absolutely. I was saying it was a little almost overwhelming here at yeah, first. Yeah, there's there's a lot I, going on. Long. Well done, boss. This battle frame can now accept secondary weapon upgrades. Select it again to see what upgrades you currently have in your inventory that you can upgrade with. Being able to shoot is key to surviving out in the wild. Another important aspect is movement. Now that you have more firepower, let's upgrade your mobility by improving your jump jet. Skin hammers find the resources, and dumpers pull them out of the ground. Both are needed if you intend to gather larger quantities of resources. Okay. Fantastic! Now that you have your scan hammer and thumper, let's put them to good use. It's time to collect some resources, but first we have to find them. Open your map through your sin menu. If you don't remember, you can access this menu by pressing the tilde key. Your map is capable of showing you what resources are available in the Sure, you could uh, spend a time in there and uh, not figure press everything out. No oh, doubt. what resources are available and where. This is helpful when looking for a particular resource for crafting needs. I think it's time we break in your new dumper, boss. Close the map and I'll tell you how to use your scan hammer. Before you call down a dumper, you will first want to know what it is you're collecting. This is where your scan hammer comes into play. Equip your scan hammer by opening your call down menu. Do this by accessing the scene menu and select the call down option. Use your mouse wheel to scroll down to resource gathering. Then left click to open the menu. Now scroll down to your scan hammer and left click it to select it as your active call down. Okay, so basically when you hit the tilde key, a menu pops up that you use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down throughout the menu options and submenus. That worked pretty good. Okay, so we need to go out of the Copacabana. It looks like it assigned the hammer to five. So let's head out. It's very dark. Flashlight! This looks like an area. Great job, boss. You found the resource. Oh, that's now cool. To call down your dumper. Open your call down menu and select your stock personal dumper from the resource. I didn't get a hammer. I don't know what you were on, but I do have it as an activity that we're doing. You didn't get a hammer? If you go to the call down menu, go to call downs. Oh, go to resource gathering call downs and then you should have a hammer ah there it is great now activate the call down and then if you Press hammer the area with the number 5 key see the blue hologram there you go shows it shows you, you that overlay once you confirm the call down pick a location for your thumper to land then left click to call it down and oh look at that don't stand under it when it lands it shows both of our our scan reports so I can see that your spot has a higher concentration of raw carbon. That's pretty cool. Uh, that is neat. Okay, so if I hit 5 here, I'm going to place it... Is it... If it's red, I can't, right? Okay, i got to find... Oh, i got to place it on my scan, is that right? 
Nope, why can't I place a thumper? Too close to another thumper. Did somebody else drop a thumper out here? Have you over here? I can here? hear one in the distance. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let me... Oh, we got guys. Oh, but it looks like there's one right down there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, that's interesting. If someone else is gathering, you can't. Well, let, let's go out a little further. Get back to the hammer. Let's head out this way. Cord restricted zone. Here. I think there's too much water over there. Oh, here we go. We're out in a lake. Too close to another thumper. I guess we're just going to have to wait until they're I done. Now, I noticed on that scan there was a little lock above it. I wonder if that means we can't thump there. Oh, I don't know. No, I think it's just because it's my scan. Because I have a lock above yours. Alright. So it looks like we're just going to have to wait until they're done. So we'll head over here. Get ready to drop it. Right here. Actually, it's got a higher concentration over here of the raw carbon. So as soon as it lets us, we'll drop it over here. They should almost be done. They were well over 50% when I looked last. I mean, when it's not the tutorial, we'd obviously be a lot further outside of town than this, so I don't think this bottlenecking issue would be there. I think it's just what we're starting. So they need to work on their new player experience a little bit. Getting not enough space. Now I'm getting too close. Up oh, there, 99%, 100%. I'm looking at their. I'm assuming readout. these problems won't won't exist once you venture out a little bit. Once yeah, that's what I was starting here. It is it is brand new to to open beta, so yeah, there's a lot of new players. It's still too close to another one. Somebody else drop one. Okay, well we're still getting the too close, so let's let's head out a ways. Maybe we can get away from this problem. Yeah, I'll try it here. here it oh, it's letting me land it here. I should warn you that thumpers make a lot of noise. Noise that will attract nearby creatures who will want to destroy you. One thing I remember that, that these were sure cool when they the flew thumper, in. But yeah. As well, so you'll want to protect them. You can send your thumper back at any time you want by interacting with it. Keep in mind, the more full your thumper is, the more resources And I'm going to try and get to a little higher ground. Because uh, these attract some bugs. Yep, the thumping definitely gets us company. I love the HUD, by the way. It just looks amazing. There we go. Grenade launcher! Q changes weapons, by the way, I just discovered. Oh, there's gotta be more bugs on that, come on! Oh. Boom! I've hit myself with splash damage! Thank you for the warning. <laughs> Switching off the grenade launcher. 
Uh, even in shooter games, I go yayoe happy. <laughs> oh, coming out from a distance there. Hmm, this uh, dropped a bunch of loot over here, I think. Wonder how much of the loot is shared. I'm noticing ammo popping out. That's pretty cool. Reloading. Halfway there. It is kind of nice. You just got to run over it, though. You don't have to actually have to uh, manually pick it up with a button. That is cool. The whole thumper idea is really cool. I remember in the trailers there being a lot bigger thumpers, so my assumption is when you get higher, you probably have thumpers that hold a whole lot more and you go way out in the wilderness on these giant runs for resources and it just the 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 potential of this system alone is really really high. I could see this being really cool. I can see groups of like four or five guys going out with a giant thumper and taking out giant creatures, protecting it. Yeah, if I remember, they get pretty intense as well. Yeah, I remember we did a couple during the early closed beta that was definitely heart, heart pumping. Or we had to like strategically land it in a spot where we had high ground and, and bottlenecks and all the other stuff, actually planning it out. Which is cool. Everything's exploding, I'm assuming that's you. It is. <laughs> you sounded so prideful of that. <laughs> okay, so that's done, so I should be able to hit E to take it off. Great job, boss. There we go. You even managed to send your thumper back with a full load. Good job, mm -hmm. boss. In addition to the hole you brought in, I provided you with some extra resources that you can use to Excellent. construct and upgrade you can see the your little, jump uh, jet. Results. Let's go do that real quick. We're almost done, boss. Return to Copacabana and interact with the manufacturing terminal. Cool. It even tells you how many how many enemies you killed during it. Very cool. Okay, so manufacturing terminal. Right up here. Keep forgetting I have a sprint button. Hard to forget about the jump jets, those are just awesome. It's the only way to travel. <laughs> Darn right. It's very tribes of them. I like it a lot. It feels right. It definitely feels right too, and that's huge. Okay. Molecular pressure. Okay, boss. Let's construct some jump jets. You can find them under the shared equipment oh, section of Battle Frame Equipment. When you select an item to construct, you will see one of three color-coded circles. Green represents components that you have slotted. Blue represents optional components. Red represents components that you either do not have slotted or do not possess. When you see an item that needs a component that you do not have, you can construct that component by selecting the component, then clicking the Create New Component button. Okay, so you select it, Create New Component. And Once you it have requires, the components okay, it requires 250 of these, the so manufacture. Processing. Okay, oh, it's time-based. Okay, I can see there being stuff that takes like an hour, two hours to complete in real time and all that stuff. Manufacturing complete. Okay, so claim the item. Okay. Okay, so I think I have both. I do. So I have both of these, so now I can make jump jets. Initiated. Manufacturing process concluded. And there we go. Excellent. It also looks like you have enough resources to craft some consumable items, like ammo or health packs. Open the consumables oh. menu and build a small ammo pack and a small health pack. Processing. The same process that you built your jump jets with. Oh, you can have two. 
I just unlocked the second workbench. Grit, now head back to the battle frame garage and the will jump jet. Facebook vibe to it, Facebook game vibe to it. With the real times and the how many workbenches. Okay, so that's that's done I believe. Proceed to the battle frame garage. Okay, I think below me, right? Yeah. Here we go. Open your jump jets list and select your upgraded jump jets. Okay, so I unlock the ability to slot in there in that spot, I guess, with experience. With XP. And then after that I can there we go. So there you go, boss. Your new jump jets are ready to use. Well boss, that should just about do it. You now have everything you need to make your way through New Eden. But remember, the more sin towers you connect yourself to, the more information you'll have to find what you need. So go out and explore New Eden. Find the sin towers. Who knows? There may even be a reward waiting for you once you do. Either myself or Oil Spill will chime in when new missions are available near you. In the meantime, find those towers. Hmm, okay, so it tells us when there's missions nearby. That's cool. Did you make there's your uh, jump jets? Nearby. Let's go hook into their Sin uplink so we can receive data from their tower. Um, I'm just going with what it's highlighting for me here. It had me do some kind of refining of the carbon, so... Luckily, uh, it just was highlighted in green for me because it's a little bit too much from what I last remember. Okay. It just had me make some uh, jump jets. Maybe the engineers are super cool. Okay. So in the next episode, we will head out into the world and see, now that we're done with the tutorial, what the, what the game's actually like. Okay, see you next time.